Yamaha YZF-R1. In recent years it seemed that the decline of the super sports market, as motorcyclists have turned to adventure bikes and other less high performance alternatives, might result in some Japanese firms abandoning the sector altogether. Yamaha's launch of a new, race developed YZF-R1, the successor to the famed 1998 model of the same name, is an emphatic statement to the contrary. Indeed, the new R1 is more like Valentino Rossi's YZR-M1 mode of racer than any of its predecessors. Yamaha's research showed that riders who continue to buy super sports bikes tend to be hardcore enthusiasts who use their bikes on a racetrack. Hence the decision to shift the emphasis from road to circuit performance, and base this R1 not on the previous model, but on the M1 racer. With a maximum output of 197 bhp, and weighing 199 kilograms with fuel, the Yamaha has a power to weight ratio fractionally higher than that of BMW's class yardstick, the S1000RR. Equally importantly, the R1 incorporates an M1-derived electronics package that is arguably the most sophisticated yet on a production bike. Yamaha's system is based on a device called an inertia measurement unit which, like those used by BMW, Ducati and KTM, uses gyroscopes and accelerometers to track movement more than 100 times per second. This allows a more refined traction control system, a separate slide control for limiting rear tire movement on acceleration, plus an anti-wheelie system. According to project leader Hideki Fujiwara, the system has 90% of the function of its M1 equivalent. A 998cc, 16-valve four-cylinder engine uses conventional tuning methods, including more over square dimensions, higher compression ratio, and redesigned valve operating mechanism to gain 18 bhp over the previous power plant. It is lighter and revs higher but retains the R1's cross-plan crankshaft arrangement, derived from the M1, that gives a distinctive, droning exhaust note and usable torque delivery. As you get on to the R1 slightly higher, thinly padded C there is no doubt that it's a supremely focused machine. Below the fairing's fairly long, racy screen is a colorful digital instrument panel that displays the wide variety of settings controllable via buttons on the handlebars. The range of functions and adjustability is potentially bewildering, but the Yamaha is outstandingly intuitive and easy to use. The R1 is exhilaratingly, sometimes breathtakingly, fast, combining ferocious acceleration with very refined throttle response, even in the most aggressive of its four engine modes. Peak power arrives at 13,500 RPM and the engine is respectably flexible, pulling sweetly enough at low revs to suggest that the bike will be perfectly happy at modest road speeds. And on either road or track, its electronics package matches, if not exceeds, the best rival systems, allowing expert and less experienced riders alike to approach their and the bike's limits with an outstanding level of safety. The gearbox's quick shift relaxes the downshift facility of its BMW and Ducati rivals, but in every other respect the R1 is outstandingly rider-friendly. Its chassis, based on a new aluminium frame and suspension parts, is equally capable. Taut, light and supremely agile. I didn't find the bike cramped, despite being hauled. It's firmly suspended, superbly well braked. The ABS system links front and rear discs, depending on the bike's angle of lead, and effortlessly controllable. Inevitably this is a hardcore machine, whose performance will be largely wasted on the road, where its more aggressive riding position, smaller fuel tank and shorter wheelbase will be of little benefit. But those electrical systems will be useful everywhere and help justify a £14,999 price that's as competitive as the Yamaha's performance. The R1 was developed under the motto, no excuses. Comparison tests with a stopwatch running will be the ultimate judge, 
but in isolation this wonderfully fast, focused and exhilarating race replica is good enough to suggest that none will be needed on the bike's angle of lead and effortlessly controllable. Inevitably this is a hardcore machine whose performance will be largely wasted on the road where its more aggressive riding position, smaller fuel tank and shorter wheelbase will be of little benefit. But those electrical systems will be useful everywhere, and help justify a £14,999 price that's as competitive as the Yamaha's performance. The R1 was developed under the motto, no excuses. Comparison tests with a stopwatch running will be the ultimate judge, but in isolation this wonderfully fast, focused and exhilarating race replica is good enough to suggest that none will be needed. The fast, focused and exhilarating race replica is good enough to suggest that none will be needed, will be needed.